Steve Toby, and this is the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. Today's Gospel is the parable of the sower, and is taken from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 8, verses 5 through 15. But now let's say our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, enlighten our hearts and minds that we may learn and understand your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And now our Gospel according to St. Luke. A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell along the path and was trodden underfoot, and the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered away, because it had no moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew with it, and choked it. And some fell into good soil, and grew, and yielded a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And when the disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God. But for others they are in parables, so that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. And as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bring forth fruit with patience the Word of God. In this parable, the seed is, of course, the Word of God. And the sower is Christ, or anyone spreading the Word of God. You and I are called to be sowers of the Word of God, each in his or her own way. Sowing the Word of God is not only preaching, but just as importantly how we live the Word of God and demonstrate the meaning of the Word of God in our daily lives. If you have a question about how to do that, go to your Bibles and read St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. There you will find the Beatitudes, and they are a wondrous guide for us all. Well, have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you here again tomorrow. May God bless us all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.